What's up, people? This is William Jones bringing you another video about leaving religion and just telling you to think, you know, use your mind, use some common sense, some logic, not what you've just been programmed and trained in all your life. Actually open your eyes and see the things that are happening right in front of, right in front of you. So for this video, uh, before I even get into it, <clears throat> for those that watch my videos, and want me to, what's your sources and and links and where are you getting this and that? I'm not getting into all that crap. I'm sorry. If you really wanted to find out that stuff, why, why are you looking at me? Because if you really wanted to know, you'd go know. And if you worry about me knowing, don't worry about me knowing. Worry about you. Don't worry about me. Worry about you. You can keep trying to prove Jesus is real. And that people are born from virgins and they walked on water and brought people back from the dead and all this other foolishness while we watching folks die from cancer lupus huh? diabetes uh, all kind of diseases when you got a healer right there so don't 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 try to get me to prove the fairy tale we just all know it's fake but for this video I want you to uh, to think about this, and yeah, I use Bible verses. So what? Um, I mean, the stuff is stolen, but it doesn't mean because it's stolen, some of the stuff is not valuable. And so the King James, even if you use the King James, you don't have it's not a it's not a copyright infringement. If you use the NIV, New American Standard Bible, New King James, you gotta uh, get permission because those are books. And look at that. It's not the Word of God no more when they do that. Now, it is, it's no longer the Word of God. Now it's a book you got to get permission from. It's supposed to be God's Word. I digress. Anyway, this one is about hearing all sides before making a decision. And in life, most of us, you know, if you were born in a Christian household, you knew nothing but Jesus. God, Jesus, Bible, church, you were never given a decision like, this is Islam, this is Christianity, Hinduism, Shintoism, Zoroastrianism, Atheism, Satanism, you know, here are all of them, like a job fair, here's all the religions or whatever, and Atheism is not a religion, but Scientology, if you want to get into that, but I'm just saying, it's a matter of you never heard what other people believe. You only knew what you believed and that that was the only way and everybody else goes to hell. That's all you knew. But even in the Bible it says, first scripture, Proverbs 18, 17. He that is first in his own cause seemeth just, but his neighbor cometh in search of him. I'm going to say that again. He that is first in his own cause seemeth just, but his neighbor come in search of him. How do I explain that one? Jerry Springer. The female comes out. He's the daddy. He's deadbeat. He won't buy no diapers. He won't give me money. He won't do this. He won't do that. He keeps saying the baby ain't his. But I'm 1,000 says sure, he's the father, right? So that's all we know. The guy comes out, or they show, first they got to show a clip of him saying, um, I don't know Antaresia. I mean, you know, Antaresia, that's not my baby. And I don't care what you say, that's not my baby. Antaresia lying, right? And, you know, it's not my baby. And they, you know, bring out, you know what I'm saying, bring out tripod so they bring out tripod everybody starts booing him based on what based on only the testimony of Archerisha right you don't even know tripod you haven't even heard his side so he that is first in his own cause seemeth just but his neighbor cometh and search of him out or search of him. So then when you hear his side like, 
when you know she was messing with two other guys and she told me the baby wasn't mine and this that the third and then they do the blood test and say in the case of the little baby tripod you are not the father and the crowd oh you know she going back fall on the floor you know what I'm saying get all the dust off the floor with her clothing and apologize hey, I'm sorry whatever you know whatever this that the third now the crowd is on tripod side after y'all booting when he came out without hearing his testimony or hearing the final judgment. Really? So let's get to the second part of that. So the people that heard just her side, but didn't hear his side, but booed him, Proverbs 18, 13. He that answereth a matter before he heareth it, it is folly and shame unto him. Again, he that answereth the matter before he heareth it, it is folly and shame unto him. Proverbs 18, 13. So pretty much, we've been taught one way without ever hearing the other sides. So we've based uh, what we believe in, and belief is not even based on facts. Belief can be based on, I mean, it's just ideas. I mean, think about it. I mean, faith is actually what? The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So you're, it's not even evidence. It's, it's just a belief with no evidence. And when any evidence is presented, it's rejected because it will destroy the belief. You hear that? So I just learned when I came out of religion, I started listening to other things. Let me hear the other side, the side they told me not to, to listen to. What they said, that's the devil. Don't mess with that. Why? Let me check it out. And I found out that it was not what they said it was. I even looked into Satanism, and when most people hear Satanism, and I spoke about this before, automatically because the word Satan is in there, oh, they are devil worshippers. But the majority, hear what I'm saying, the majority of Satanists do not even believe there is a Satan. They just despise organized religion. And if you are in an organized religion, Satan is the main enemy. They just use the name to despise the whole religion. But they have 11 uh, rules and 11 sins. If you check it out, they have rules. So like I said, you know, all... Some Satanists do believe in Lucifer or Satan or whatever, whatever. A whole the majority doesn't. That's just like if I if I grouped all the Christians together, they'll get mad. All, all the Christians raping the boys and, and, and sleeping with the young girls. And if I did that, they'd be mad about that if I grouped them all together. All the Christians playing with rattlesnakes and poisonous venomous snakes. Say they won't bite them if they have faith. If I group them together like that, they will be upset if I group them like that. So you can't group everybody else like that. Oh, everybody who's a Muslim is a terrorist. It's funny how even in the media, ain't you know the media full of lies anyway. You can't believe the media. But if if someone in the media does something and their religion is Islam, that's put in the forefront that they are a Muslim and this is what they did. If someone, especially Caucasian, does something but they are a Christian, they will never mention that person's belief. They'll just say what they did. But they will never connect what they did to, to, the, the, to what they believe. They don't connect the belief system to the action 
especially if they're Caucasian. But if their skin is brown, got a tint or whatever, what they did is connected to the religion. In America, especially. Hey, what, hey, what I'm saying? Hear all sides. If I had to do it all over again, to be honest with you, I'd be a Buddhist. I think the Buddhists have the coolest. I only. It's not really a religion. It's a way of life. They have a. They have a. Uh, a philosophy more than a religion of just treating people right and doing what's right and whatever and just loving each other and whatever I think that's the coolest no heaven no hell all of that all of that mess but when you got a scare tactic people into believing your stuff if you don't believe it you you burn in fire forever that should be the first indication this is some bull crap because if I don't choose what you're saying the alternative is torture for eternity, which is a lie. Hear all sides. Get, get away from the damn Bible. You know what I'm saying? Just stop listening to the Bible. Do some history or something. You know, find out what's really going on. All that is, you got a scare tactic people into it. And the people who in it are only in it because they're scared of the hell and lake of fire and being tortured forever. They don't really love God. They are scared. Give, give, give a person a choice. Hey, if you want it, you want it. You don't, you don't. Like if a telemarketer calls you, hey, you know, if uh, you, you want to buy this, no. If you don't want it, then you don't want it. Hey, I don't want it. All right, have a nice day. Boom. That's not what religion does. Hey, you want it? No, I don't want it. If you don't want it, you'll be tortured after you die. When none of them have died, none of them have seen death, you just believe in what somebody else said is bullcrap. But in every instance in life, hear both sides. Or hear all sides. Then make a decision. And keep your eyes open to subtle changes. Just watch for stuff. That's all I'm going to say. I, I mean, it's nothing, else I, nothing else I can say on this, right? I'm out of here. Peace.